Hi guys, Remus Adventure, Remus is back, and um, what do we want to talk about today? I got some people ask me a few questions about Germany, about Canada, and let's talk, what are we talking about? Going shopping in Germany, why not? So as you know, Canada has Costco, Walmart, real Canadian superstore, these, these huge stores, Germany doesn't have the, the big stores. You know, you have like Edeka, Aldi, Lidl, NP, Metro. Metro is like Costco, but you need a membership. Not like Costco, everybody can go shop here. You really need to show your own business and then you can shop there. Shopping is interesting because prices changing throughout the day, throughout the week. It's like on a gas station. You want to buy margarine, you maybe have to go on a Thursday because Friday is more expensive compared to Tuesday. And uh, you see these small stores, they're not very big. They have like one, two employees on the till. And then that's pretty much it. Nobody else is running around. Funny part is bread. If you buy your bread, there's a little machine. You put your bread loaf in and the machine cuts it and slices. It's funny. Uh, I think I did a video about it. You should check it out, um, Remo Adventure, how to cut bread in Germany. And then you take it and then at home it's already cut in slices, depends how thick they are. But don't use fresh bread because fresh bread, this doesn't work, will be all be all over the place. Um, milk, check out the milk, check out the expiry date on milk because you see milk in cartons, ein, one liter, ein liter, one liter, uh, 99 cents, dollar 19. Expire date between four and six months. They're not in the fridge. They're just in a normal shelf. Uh, I was surprised to see. Taste a little bit different than the Canadian milk, you know, where it expires like three, four, five days. And um, it's very strange. And they have big, big mounds of these milk. You know, you have one or two kinds. Um, I don't know if it's healthy or not healthy, but the milk expires even with uh, cheese. And, uh, you know, cheese is sometimes good for a couple of months. The most interesting part in the German grocery stores is alcohol. Alcohol, wine, hard liquor, you can buy anywhere. They are in a normal shelf. Anybody can go uh, get it from the shelf and bring it to the till and pay for it. I mean, you have to be 18 or 16. I'm not sure what the age is, but it's not like hidden. Uh, cigarettes are hidden at the till. There's a little monitor, you press the button, and then the carton comes out. Um, but alcohol you can buy anywhere. I mean, people are not really drunk here. Uh, but the most interesting of all, you add the till, and you get ready to put your products on the little thing there. And um, you have to be ready. You have to be ready, because these employees at the till, they are scanning these products in seconds and they don't wait. If you don't stand on the other side and you are, you know, like a baggage handler, taking everything and put everything in your little buggy, they don't care. Like, you know, do check out videos on YouTube. They do it so fast, so fast and then they are, they are done, but you are still sitting there with all your products. Oh, please pay. And if you don't pay, they get cranky. And then you pay, and then the next customer behind you is already looking at you because you're still busy taking all your products and putting them in your buggy. Very funny. So it's, it's like a marathon. So what you do is you take a box, put it in your buggy, and as fast as you can, put everything in so you don't have to do it again in your car. Saves you some time. And some training. So I think I should do a training course how to move products um, at the till in the German grocery stores. And yeah, it's very, very interesting. And you know, pricing, you know, so you have some NP, you have some grocery stores from Poland, but overall you get flyers online or by paper every week. You compare, they're like in America and Canada, you just compare prices. There's a lot of chocolate, a lot of chocolate and a lot of cold cuts. If you don't like chocolate or cold cuts for your sandwiches, yeah, you should move to Germany because Breakfast, you go anywhere, it's cold cuts. You got a bun, 
you put margarine or butter on top and you put in some eggs or some cold cuts that's breakfast there are so many bakeries of oh, bakeries we will talk next time all over and um, where you can buy your cold cuts okay that's pretty much it today a little bit about uh, you know grocery shopping in germany if you want to know more about things how things work here give me a shout okay peace talk to you later bye